Hello, this is Dr. Mark Levwell. I'm the Waldman Chair of Dermatology at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York. I will be discussing rapid onset of efficacy in patients with psoriasis treated with berdalumab versus ustekinumab, a pooled analysis of data from two phase three randomized clinical trials, Imagine 2 and Imagine 3 were the names of the trials, headed by Dr. Papp and colleagues at the American Academy of Dermatology annual meeting that took place in Orlando from March 3rd to March 7th. To summarize the findings of this poster, in patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, Bredalumab demonstrated a rapid onset of action with significantly more patients achieving efficacy endpoints compared to ustekinumab as early as week one. The two groups persisted through week 12. Here's how the study was designed. Imagine two and three were two randomized, double-blind, multi-center studies in patients with moderate to severe psoriasis. Patients were randomized two to two to one to one, 140 milligrams or 210 milligrams every two weeks, used to kinumab or placebo for 12 weeks. Speed of response was evaluated by measuring the time to achieve static physician's global assessment, success of zero or one, that means clear or almost clear, or 75% improvement in PASI score. The key findings were as follows. A total of 3,712 patients were randomized in the two studies. At week 12, the static physician's global assessment success, meaning clear or almost clear, was observed in 79.1% of patients treated with berdalumab, 59.1% of patients treated with ustekinumab, past 75. The score was observed in 85.7% and 69.7% of berdalumab and used to kinumab patients respectful, respectively. Statistically significant differences favoring berdalumab in physicians global assessment and PASC 75 week one and continuing through week 12. The time to achieve a physician's global assessment of zero or one in 25% of patients was two and a half weeks with berdalumab and 5.6 weeks with used to kinumab. The PASI 75 score was, was achieved in 25% of patients at 2.1 weeks with berdalumab and 4.8 weeks for use to Kenya map.